All right. Wow, there's people here. There's a couple of people here, yeah. We good? I can't see any levels. I hope we're good. All right, seems good. Hey, folks, what's up? 48LC48, HLC48, Becky, Jesse, uh, Sarah, Tony, Austin, and Claire. Hello, hello. Hello. What's up? <laughs> this shirt is bomb, says Sarah. I wore it during my live stream. Sorry, I'm gross, but... I'm wearing it again. It was a week ago. It's been, I know, uh, but still, people, it's been laundry day since then. If you watch then. the live stream, or the, this is a Drawn Ghouls exclusive. So, happy Fountain Pen Day. Yep, happy Fountain Pen Day to uh, one and all. Yep. If you're not familiar with Fountain Pen Day, go to fountainpenday.org. There's a list of all kinds of discounts and all that kind of thing. Uh, our buddy, Carrie, Mr. Fountain Pen Day himself. Yeah, he's one person. He's not a... Company. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it's not a company. It's and also we're, you. <laughs> we're not giving enough credit to where credit is due, but yeah, he's just one person doing all so that. That's so. uh, fountainpenday.org right there. Yep. Uh, there is a uh, special pen and ink from Van S. Yep. Uh, I ordered the ink, but not the pen. Uh, okay. Countdown six hours. Maybe that's until it's over. I don't know. Uh, but on here, you can find all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Um, so you go to the timeout corner for that. <laughs> uh oh. What do you say? He said, and also with you. <laughs> hmm. May the fun pen day be with you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Carrie's tall enough to be two people. That is accurate. He that is... is true. Carrie is tall and he's very New York. Yeah. If two, those like... are things you're going to very, if you know Carrie, those are two things that you'll quickly learn about him. Jesse also ordered all the ink. Cool. I have, uh, I have another, <laughs> I have another. Another wow, shopping cart you have quite stuff. the car, cart there. There's only two things, Audrey. I have stuff in my cart that is that needs to go, so I need to actually buy stuff. Mm. Tony says he would have ordered the pen, but it only looks like it only came in a clipped version. Well, I don't know. I didn't check it out that much. Yeah, we only do clipped for that. That's not a oh. only or a 31's clipped. Actually, if you look close, yeah. um, the coolest thing I think about this pen is the. Uh, yeah, there's a better picture on somewhere. There's an engraving right here of the Fountain Pen Day logo, which is this, like upside down nib. Yep. That's fun. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, but um, I just bought a couple of pens and I've got carts everywhere. So I mean, it's a white. It, the white background doesn't really show it well. Mm. It's just so, for example, at pen shows, when you have prototypes sitting out, we have white trays with white pens on it. It doesn't stand out. But if you have a white pen that's very stark, you just, in person, it looks really nice when somebody has it in their hand. But when it's in a white background, it just sort of gets lost. Yeah. So I think having it in a more day-to-day -day life look would have helped it a little bit more. Oh, you mean in a picture? Yeah, in a picture yeah. that made it a little bit more... I mean, there's not, there's not that many of them. They're going to sell out soon. So I'm oh, surprised. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised they're not sold out yet. Yeah. I don't know how many there are, actually. Is, oh, only 88. 88. So. Yeah. Those will go quickly enough, I think. But, uh, yeah, I got the ink, which well, is a nice orange. Well, hello there, Want to come on up? Come on, Scraggles. Come on. Come on in. Uh, today's going to have to be a hard out at 6 o'clock. So, uh, because we got our trick-or-treating rained out yesterday. Um, I was like, why? I actually didn't know what you were talking about. Okay. What? It's trick-or-treating. We got all that candy, yo. That's our candy now. Well, I ought to give some of it to Peoples. Um, and has a super bright white background. Yeah, the super bright white works on a lot of stuff. Oh, Nuts. it works. Yeah, it looks nice for most things. Yeah, but on white stuff, it's not as good. But um, So, we, uh, if y'all are international, we're pretty heavy on the trick-or-treat here in the U.S. And uh, especially in our neighborhood, we get a lot of trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Just yesterday, I talked to... Um, our rep from Yovo was calling, and he wished us Happy Halloween, which is nice that he remembered that because I don't I don't know how they do it in Germany there. But anyway, he calls and he goes, "Oh, it's Halloween there, right? That's a big. You guys are working today." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, we're working on Halloween, yeah." And then he calls back later. He's like, "So are you guys gonna be there tomorrow, or is tomorrow a day off after?" I'm like. <laughs> no, what? Halloween. No, you don't get days off for holiday. So he thought it was more of a, a official holiday. Yeah, than, it's not a bank holiday. No, it's not a bank yeah. holiday. It's so. just a kids get candy holiday. Yeah, 
So, so um, if you see in the description of the video, I am going to do um, <laughs> Scraggles. She has really been on a tear She's the last few days. Yeah. Just crazy. How's Amer uh, how Americans holiday? You work. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Although you sometimes people do wear <laughs> costumes to work, which is kind of fun. Um, but uh, as I was saying, that's we... True. I didn't. What? You didn't either. So this is the thing. If you don't tell them about you and costumes. Oh, let's talk about that later. I was talking about the giveaway thing, and I keep getting interrupted by somebody changing the old subject. I'm good at that. I know. I know. I'm very good at that. Uh, so since it's Fountain Pen Day, Audrey said, hey, you should give something away. And I said, yeah, let me see what I can find. And so I found a couple of things and a few odds and ends that I'm going to throw in as well. But um, I'm going to do a bit of a giveaway on this video. It's not going to be live. Uh, a lot of people can only yeah. catch this later on. Yep. And uh, so I'm going to let it go until the end of the day tomorrow. That's the end of the day. Saturday, the 2nd of November. Uh, I'll, after that, I'll pick a number. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, y'all go ahead and uh, leave a comment below this video. And sorry. <laughs> I was distracted. I was going to tell you, I'm like, please turn that off. I oh, no. So uh, over on the other screen, we had our video going. And I kept seeing stuff move. Anyway, it um, does. so um, leave a comment below here, and uh, I will uh, in, in a row. <laughs> Three, seven in a row, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, then, I don't know, after the end of the day tomorrow, I will run a random number, number generator thing, pick a number, count down that many. Uh, comments and that'll be a person who wins and then i'll do it again because i have two things uh one are... comment per person yeah yeah one comment per person because i was like i don't person. know if you said that but yeah you have to make sure to say that i didn't like one yeah. entry per person uh one comment per person just like you know say something that's fine i'm not gonna be like tell me a story about well, it i don't care yeah, about that yeah. um because uh, who's got people time? do that like if you want to tell me a story cool tell me about your favorite halloween costume or something uh, everyone comments spam. Spam is delicious, and I will brook no will disagreement. Not, nope. Um, so hard pass. Um, yeah. So would you miss a giveaway? No, you haven't missed anything yet. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Leave a comment below. I'll run an RNG after the end of the day tomorrow. What you're trying to win? There are two things. One is this very nice uh, Kaveco special. This is a brass pen. Uh, it is, of course, a fountain yeah, pen. It's a lot full size. Not one. Of, it's not a baby Quaco. No, this is a full size Kaveco fountain pen. Uh, I forget what these go for, like, I don't know, 80 or 90 bucks or something. This was sent out to me for review a while back. Um, so it is used, but <gasps> by me, it's a little bit of a shiny boy. Oh, so I mean, uh, it's fancy. You should, you that's know, right. It's, it has, it's really, it's, yeah, it's I more not, value because you used it. I won't charge you extra for my having used it. Uh, but you can find the review of this on my channel and my blog if you're uh, looking for it. This is the Kaveco Special. Uh, it's a very nice pen. It uses a number five-ish nib, yep. as it looks like there. Uh, it is a, uh, it is a fine it's a very nice nib. I actually. It's I, a fine, fine. It's a fine, fine. I actually, actually, it's a very good fine. I'm gonna say. It's, wow. Like it's slightly on the large side for a fine, but very nice. So uh, pre-tarnished, worth more. I was actually gonna give it a little bit of a buff Where, with the I was just gonna sunshine say, you're, You with your oily hands, you're gonna. It's not oil. It's like body chemistry sure. or something. But um, I'll. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, actually, I'll leave that up to the uh, to the winner's uh, preference. You can They're... either keep it tarnished or I'll give it a nice rundown with the sunshine cloth to make it shiny again. Somewhere I've got the original packaging. i got to find that. But um, I've got a day or so. Hi, Nose. What's up? You trying to trying to make a mess? Yes. Yes, he so, is. So, uh, yep, pre-tarnished. So that's one thing. And I'll throw in, like, I've got another little pile of, like, things over here. I've got, like, a little bullet planner from uh, Inky Fingers. I've got a little Rhodia. I've got this fun Mnemosyne, like, daily planner thing. So that's one. Uh, and the other is this very nice and unused paper blanks notebook. Looks nice. Right? Actually, yeah. uh, the, I really like the way these look. It has like the illustrated edges and stuff right there. It's got this little clasp that holds it closed. It's lined, slightly creamy paper, um, not used, just, uh, you know, new, fancy. But uh, I haven't used it. So. Is that about, is that an A5 or so? Uh, yeah, I think it's a five. Seems right to me. Does it actually say? I it doesn't even it say. It actually says, but... Pretty sure it's A5. It looks about A5. <laughs> yeah. So there. That's the other thing. So uh, first thing, Kaveco. Second thing, a very nice uh, paper blanks notebook. Right there. So there you go. Oh, uh, uh, twenty four ninety five is the uh, street value of this guy in the USA. So don't read your diary. Well, they can't because it's 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 yeah. locked. You can't you, nobody you, can get in. No. Um, so uh, the first person gets a pen. The second person gets a notebook. Uh, and I will throw in some other little, some other things, assortments and, and whatnots. 
So that's the idea. Yeah, Nose is being a creeper. That's what he does pretty much 24-7. Yeah. So, yep, that's uh, that'll be my, my happy fountain pen day uh, giveaway. Sound good? I hope it does. All right. Is it open to everybody? Uh... That's where you didn't mention anything again? Yeah, I didn't mention it. Look, I'm not good at this. Um, I'm so, just letting, you know. Looks like the Hocus Pocus book. I don't actually know. It does have like a, it's got a fun design on it. It does. In the, in the middle, it's like all, yeah. Um, so uh, I'm going to say like US, I'll cover the shipping, uh, but international, I'm going to like, you'll have to help me with the shipping because... Especially if you if you want a pen, that's different than a book. I mean, this is yeah it costs more to ship that. Yeah, yeah. So um, I don't want to bankrupt myself on a giveaway, but uh, yeah, U.S. postage I'll cover. Um, we'll say uh, international postage like uh, ten or something. Yeah, like you'll, you'll give. A we'll figure out what it yeah. is, and I'll I'll cover it. We'll like split it or something. Does that sound good? Hope it sounds good. Um, I don't want to leave out the uh, the international folk. I know a lot of y'all are internationals that come in like. Uh, watch this video. So I don't want to leave you out, but also I don't want to bankrupt myself. So, yeah, so there you go. Shipping, man. It's, yeah. <laughs> BJ says the title of this should be I'm Not Good at This. <laughs> you said that many times. <laughs> okay, you know the giveaway? Uh, leave a comment below. Down here. Just one comment per person. Actually, I should probably put that, I guess, in the yeah. description of the video. Make it in the... Yeah. Go ahead and, and talk some stuff while I'm typing. Okay. Yeah. So what has everyone bought today? That's a question. I haven't bought anything. Well, that's not true. I bought things, non-pen things. But again, I have things in a cart. Mike has more. You can kind of talk about that, right? All the things you've ordered. Sure. Well, maybe. I'm typing. you got to talk. I am. <laughs> I'm just sitting here trying to see what everyone's bought. I know. I know. Uh, you can comment now. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um. Hello, Mark. Ba bag of goldfish from vending machine. I do like... I'm hungry, so that sounds really good. Zero things. Yeah. Socks. Yeah. Look, socks. Just look around and some socks. Oh, nothing today. Yep. Yeah. I understand completely. It's... Making a decision on the FC website. I understand. Oof. Lots of things there to get, too. Oh, I bought some AirPods Pro. Are you interested in getting those, Mike? I, I'm somewhat interested. But I just purchased a pair um, that are the Beats, Beats Pro? The Beats Pro that just came out earlier this year. So I got that. Because the regular AirPods... Don't fit my ear. I need the little silicone ends on it. Otherwise, the my ear canal is not that shape. The, oh, you got the ink vent. Yeah, that's something that Mike, I know, is interested in getting. So that's definitely... Okay, that should be Oh, I that 51. Yeah, that, that's cute. The... How do you say that? I forget. I don't know what you're talking about. The bill about. got. Uh, with the retro okay. 51. Oh, I don't know how to say that. Oh, okay, good. Thought it was just. <laughs> Ciopino? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, that does look like a really nice. It uh, does look really nice. Really nice one. Every 1,000 comments equals one entry in the giveaway. Woof. Ooh, I um, don't think that that's gonna go well. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, winner must be subscribed. I don't know. It <laughs> sounds good to me. <laughs> Uh, when will FC get more number six uh, Mike Masayama finding the Curse of Italics in stock? Um, we don't have any finds to work with, so as soon as we get nibs, then we could probably get ground nibs. Oh, so. so they have to get nibs from Yovo, and they have to send those nibs to Mike, and then Mike has to grind them. It, it be shouldn't be that long. I think Mike does have some, but it's just one of those things that we have to wait for. <laughs> it just takes as long as it takes for Mike to make them. Just pick her up. She's not going to jump up there. <laughs> She's yep, going to chase she a cat is. instead. <laughs> nope. So, yeah, unfortunately, I can't give you a time frame. It just depends on how fast Mike can work. But hopefully soon mm -hmm. because we need them. Uh, yeah, I bet. Uh, so things that are in my cart that I haven't gotten right yet. Um, let me see. How can I make this? 
Let's go. So I've actually, I keep meaning to get that ink vent calendar from the dye mine. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, uh, Scraggles! <laughs> it's like we've done that before. Uh, because it looks really cool and I think it'd be a fun thing for the channel. Um, so I've got that in my cart and Lemur Ink actually has a 15% uh, off. Uh, yeah. So does, uh, oh yeah, I saw that, uh, Sandra, yeah, yeah. thanks. Um, so I'm getting that from Lemur Ink right here. Uh, it goes for 90 bucks, but it's 15% off. The code is FPN. Uh, you free shipping over 20 bucks. I mean, I don't know any other place that gives that low yeah. of a... It's a really low... Wait, what is Jet Pens? There's like 25? 25 for Jet so Pens. Even... I don't think they have it, though. Um, oh, yeah. And then the other thing I threw oh. in there was... Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, what is that? Was this pen right here, hmm. which is the Kaveco uh, Student Fountain Pen. And uh, seeing this Kaveco special I'm going to be giving away made me think, oh yeah, what about that student? So they have an orange and white one, but it has gold trim, and I'm like, I don't know. So I'm looking at this uh, this blue and silver, because I think it looks real nice. Yeah, they seem to have in their lower end pens, well that one's 60 bucks. Well, some of them, they have very interesting color combinations, like the Perkyo, it's not just normal colors, it's their black yeah. and bright pink, or, you know. I forget what other colors. That's the one I have. Yep. So that's what's in my cart currently. I cannot hit an exclamation point right now. Goodness. I keep hitting tildes. Mike really likes the orange and white one. Yeah, the orange and white one is... You think it's hotter than the blue one, you think? I don't know. Let me... Uh, There's an orange one and you don't? I wow. literally just said that. Yeah. Who listens? I don't know. This is a talk show, not a listen show. <laughs> For some of us. <laughs> so... <laughs> Here's the orange one. Uh, what do you think? I don't love the gold trim. I'm, yeah. I, I've talked about this many times on my feelings on gold trim. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This I don't think I like the gold. Yeah, so that's why I've got the silver in my card. Yeah. Um, I think I really like the uh, I like the orange and white combo, but I don't like the gold. So the blue and silver I think is pretty hot. Oh, this dude was coming. Baby's bottom reports a lot less now. Oh, okay, just stop. This oh, the Memento Zero. Yeah, I got one of those Memento Zeros. Have I shown that on the channel yet? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, you I did. it last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got the... Oh, um, the week before the, that. Yeah. yeah, we weren't here last week. Yeah. I got that blue and this one, actually. This beautiful guy so right So does here. that one not take a converter? Yeah, it takes a converter. Oh, that? Yeah. yeah, it takes a converter. Well, it says includes a ink cart. So it doesn't com include a converter. And oh. also it says it's compatible with cartridges, but it doesn't say... You know, it doesn't say that. I it's don't know. Hey, uh, hey, hive mind out there on the internet. Do y'all know if that Kaveco student pen takes a converter? I mean, it looks long enough that it would, but... Yeah, you'd think it would. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. So anyway, those are the things that are in my cart. Yep. Bought three of the Memento Zero Grande. So, oh, fancy. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Brian oh, did Chute. you say that we have 10% um, off all of the store? It's not all of the store, so no, I definitely didn't say that. Oh, uh, some things? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you go to my store, which is inkyd.com oh. right here, uh, and put in the code FPD, Fountain Pen Day, uh, you get 10% 10, 10 off of uh, all of our pen rests and stuff. <laughs> Everything in stock there. 10% off for the next couple of days. Uh, so there you go. Don't believe it's long enough for a converter? Well, that's disappointing. It looks uh, like it is. It looks like it ought to be. Or it looks like it, yeah, it looks like it ought to be. Um, for gold trim on pens and nothing else? Yeah. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, you just like it on pens, you mean, Alex? Oh, that's cool. Uh, great writers, ten to between the five pens. Oh, those are uh, Memento Zeros. Maybe else got one of these uh, Kaveco students that can uh, chime in. I mean, I'm not against cartridge only exactly, but... I like the converter. But with that section there, then you're not going to be able to eyedropper it. Well, I wouldn't do that anyway. Well, I'm just saying theoretically. Yeah. People do eyedropper it. How about the Gaveco or Monteverde short converters? Oof, those are so bad. <sighs> Eric Lindemann lost his you FC. Lo oh, that's, yeah. that's terrible. Yeah, that sucks. It really sucks. Yeah, those Kaveco and Monteverde converters are... I would go cartridge over those mm -hmm. converters. They're Same. Just... Yeah. Same. So. Yeah. 
Let's see. Turning knob on the standard international converter seems unnecessarily long anyway. You usually trim it down by probably 10 millimeters without affecting function. Yeah, I've actually done that mm. a couple of times. 10 millimeters? So oh, I don't know about 10 millimeters. Let's see. I think 10 millimeters, would, that, that would get into the screw, into the threads on the inside, the, the post. But I've taken, I've lopped these off, like this little oh. cap thing at the top, which you don't need at all, and uh, mm -hmm. a few other things. But let's see how long this is. Culpin says, it says this, oh, Culpin says the student takes a converter. Mm. So that's good. Uh, wait, back to 15 minutes ago. Hard stop at 6 because trick-or-treating redux. Yep, that's right. Can't take that one apart. <laughs> too, too stiff. Um, yeah, so we got uh, really super rained out last night. Yeah. Uh, trick or treat did. here starts about six o'clock, kind of by tradition. I don't really know why, but it does. Yeah. Um, so here's the. Whoa. Yes, yeah, so this is actually one that I did cut down, and I cut it down about as far as you can. That's just that nubbin at the top. Otherwise, you're getting into this post. So, um, yeah. So our it got really, uh, really super duper rained out. Lots of lightning, yeah. wind unpleasantness tornadoes uh thankfully none around here actually yeah if you look at the top of this uh converter if i can get it to focus on just that that square bit in the middle that's the post so i cut it down as far as i could without getting into the post come on these cameras man no one even knocked on your door last night crazy hmm. crazy is that an Austin cider? Oh, this? No, this is a uh, Spindrift Sparkling Water Strawberry. So. Which is not clear. It is not clear. It's actually kind of a gross color, but it's like a... Well, it's the color of strawberries, apparently. It's not. Mm. It's like amber or something, but whatever. They just squeeze strawberries. Maybe two millimeters? Yep, that's about what you can do. If the student takes converter, that's good. You didn't get mega rain until after the kids stop, around eight? Yeah, oh, so... That's good. If you're yeah. up north, then yeah. Yeah, he's a couple hours north of us. That makes about... Yeah. Makes sense. So, um, right, thank you. kids, wow. That's, well, that's probably. It's about what we get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or that's what we guess we get. Oh, Mike is one of those people. He knows. I know where this is going. <laughs> yep. So, Mike, whenever he's giving out trick or treat candy, he doesn't give it out. He hands the whole bowl over to the kids and they just take whatever. Heathen, this guy. Just hands it over. You know these kids go in two hands and come on. They mm -hmm. uh, they did not. Mm -hmm. They yep. were all mm -hmm. um, all very uh, uh -huh. very polite about it. Uh -huh. So <laughs> you know a few trick or treaters and not enough for all the candy you bought. I'm not sure. Darn. I mean well, we'll see. It's been so like weird and disruptive this year. I don't know what we're gonna get. No. Yeah. We what? got I think yeah. three groups of trick or treaters last night. Yeah. You saw two, right? Yeah, and there was one before that. So there only three groups, which is usually they like just bring van loads of kids to yeah. our neighborhood. So we'll see. We'll see. So um, I've actually got a lot of stuff that's kind of new because we didn't have this last week. Last week I was at the uh, the Ethics Bowl judging away. I didn't get yeah. home until like late. It was late. late. It's like yeah. ten o'clock. Yeah, but or then something. you were you went out afterwards. Yeah, I went out and had so a beer with the, with the kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That wasn't done until like eight thirty though. So. Yeah. Um, so anyway, missed that, but, uh, did get a few things this week. One of them... I have nothing. Nothing? I've been very good. Yeah, actually, I was really psyched, because I think on Monday it was, like, we got three boxes, and all of them were for me. Me. So, uh, that was a lot of fun. For me, usually they're always for Audrey, so. Uh, Audrey, for somebody who usually writes very small, what FC SIG would you recommend? If you write small, I mean, it's... I don't like the extra fine. Personally, I'm not saying I don't like it. It's easy to grind, but the extra fine SIG, it just gives you the least amount of visual line variation. And if it's a num only in the number six, so it depends on if you're going with a number five, I'll go with a fine. Um, I would probably say a fine SIG on a number six, just to give you a little bit more flair without mm. being too much. So yeah, probably a fine either way on five or six. Claire and Andrew Bailey say they both love the extra fine SIG. See, uh, people rate, pe people love the extra fine. I have opinions. I like, my favorite is the medium because it, 
Again, it's a nice, happy medium. Hard to, you hard see, to go wrong with a medium yeah, sick. Yeah, like, it's, it's you see more of the lime, lime variation than some of the others, yeah. though. But people love and people rave about the extra fine all the time. So feel free to do the extra fine, but I would like the fine, too, just to be able to see a little bit more <laughs> flair. Tony says Claire is right. Extra fine and double uh, broad are the best cigs. See, there are people that are on the direct opposite. Can you grab that ends. white box that's right behind you on the table? Yep. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. All right, so stuff I got this week and then like another project I kind of got going. Um, so the first thing is what I did the unboxing on. So probably you might have seen that already, but yeah. this is the, uh, the Twisby 6 Ink set, which is fun. I got this from Lee Inc. So I didn't know. Yeah, it's it was, cardboard. I, I actually hadn't felt it. And no yeah, it's hard to it's hard to tell, but it's cardboard. Um, I bought this from Lemur Inc. It's like thirty four ninety nine, so pretty good. Uh, as far as prices, and inside are all these fun bottles of ink, six of them. You can buy these individually for like six fifty or something. I think they mm -hmm. are. They're not terribly expensive, but they're mils? nope. They're eighteen mils. Oh. So they're a little eighteen mil bottle, wow. um, kind of wow. like what the um, Irishizukus do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so pretty good, and I uh, I swatched all these guys, and uh, I actually I like the I like the swatches pretty well. I've gotta find them. Here. <laughs> I was gonna put some stuff in. Uh, so um, you have a uh, a nice orange. Let's see if I can give you some more light here. Like you wouldn't say that it's not nice orange. You yeah, there are plenty of that. oranges that I don't like. Yeah. Um, so there's one. That's the Twisby orange right there, which came out a lot darker than I thought it was going to be, actually. Yeah, me too. Because when, when I watched, I actually watched your videos, no, as you I don't. did, and when it first went down, I was like, ooh, this looks really light, but I think there was something with the lighting or something, because it, it darkened a lot. I think it just darkened over time. Is that? It yeah, because the lighting, too? The, yeah, the lighting was good. Interesting. Yeah. Um, let's see. Is my imagination to those Twisby inks match their limited editions? I don't actually know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any of those. I didn't get the limited edition ones. Um, this is the uh, the emerald green, which I'm a little bit dubious about. I haven't gotten a pin yet. Come on now. There we go. Uh, because it did feather, or uh, rather bleed, bleed through my through rhodia, rhodia yeah. which is pretty impressive. Can you grab the rhodia pads yeah. right there? Um, not too many things bleed through rhodia, but this one did. What's up here? up here and then on the back it did that which is it's not just like a, a dot that's uh, i got like got on the next page like yeah. it's pretty uh it's pretty legit so i don't know then i wrote with it with a glass pen and that didn't bleed well a couple of dots maybe but i don't know we'll see what it does in a pen but that's the only one i'm dubious about the rest of these look cool so then there's prairie green people are talking about sig so still i can't see what they're saying though sorry no, I'm just saying I can't read it. Go ahead. I can't read it. Why can't you read it? Because right I don't have my... What are you... This is silly. Ah. <laughs> well, I don't know if people are saying either. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Excited for the 70 mil bottles that Twisby is going to come out with? Oh, are they? Interesting. Uh, let's see. Usually hate fine nibs and your Audrey, Audrey F. Sig is great. Oh, thanks. Um, oh. Thanks. <laughs> just threw that on the floor. <laughs> Uh, Brian says, Brian Chu says, a medium sig, you can write smaller than a round medium, or at least I can. Yeah, I think that's true for me, too. Um, the pink is a very odd color. It is. Uh, anybody knows when the new color versings are coming out? Nope. No idea. Mm, no. Although I think it's supposed to be very soon. I want to say that, um... Is it the one with the, they're getting rid of the second one? Yeah. yeah. I think it's a different bottle. Yeah. I think, uh, Luxury Brands said it was, like late October, mid-November, somewhere in there. So in the next couple of weeks, I would assume. Um, let's see. Audrey, just order the Model 02 in Sangria with your favorite nib, and Audrey EF Sig, says Steven. It's, again, I don't dislike it. It's just it's I... Like you don't have to defend it. yourself. It's fine. Um, <laughs> that's uh, Austin agrees. Same here with medium sig. You can write smaller than a uh, round medium. Orange looks very red on video. Yeah, it's a fairly it, red orange, it actually. Is. Yeah, that's, definitely translates the way it is. Yeah, yeah, that's just what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, personally, find F Sig F C I a bit too wide for your writing, but your mileage may vary in each to their own. Yeah, fair yeah, enough, yeah. Andrew. Uh, might be a coincidence since they have so many colors of pens. <laughs> yeah, Twisby does have a lot of different <laughs> colors. Uh, Letitia said, "I think you put a lot of ink on the paper. That's why it's bled." I, I mean, that might be true. It did stick to the 
it did stick to the letter opener pretty well when I smeared it, but I, I mean, I put a lot of ink on these every time I smear it. And I mean, um, usually like this feathered too, which is very strange. Like that's not what usually happens. Tony, by the way, I read the first sentence. I was going to send you to timeout. And then I was like, well, if you still love me, that's oh, fine. Then. Uh, orange day, Venice, fountain pen day, orange, Robert Doster, green, olive. Oh, interesting. And a Vinta Aegean Armada. Sounds intense. All right. Um, so this is the Twisby Prairie Green. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. It comes out as sort of like a, like a little darker than Robert Oster's Sublime. It's around like Chiku Rin, maybe, from Ir Suzuku. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a pretty light green. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but it doesn't bleed through anyway. That's good. What's up? Oh, it looks like you're about to say something. Nope, just had an itch right here. Okay. This is Twisby Sky Blue, which I think looks very nice. That's a nice blue, yeah. I wish it would focus consistently on the thing I put in front of it. One of these days I'm going to get a fancy camera. <laughs> but this one actually, I don't know if I can even get it to focus well enough to show, but there's actually some sheen up in the corners. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if you'll ever see it from a pen nib, but yeah. it's possible. Um, this is Twisby Royal Purple. Which is, I think more, it's more violet in person than it's coming through on the camera, I think. It comes off pretty dark there, but it's more of a yeah, violet. It is definitely bright. End of my nose itches. And then last one is the Twisby Pink, which is a very strange color. Yeah, I like pink. I'm sort of unsure. I'm. It's hard to say on swabs versus yeah. what it would be like in a pen. So, so like this is the around. Colodex card, and then that's how it came out on the paper. Came out very, very pale, especially in the under saturate or like the uh, the lighter bits there. You said like, it, it didn't want to, none of them wanted to stick to your letter opener too. Um, a couple of them did, but yeah, hmm. the pink one, I had trouble with a couple of them. Yeah. So. I just think it's interesting when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, also John Phelan from Lemur Inc. sent a bottle of his uh, Blackstone Lemur Lime for me to check out. This one I didn't pay for. This was a throw-in. Uh, and it looks like this. I wasn't... Look, I wasn't very excited about Lemur Lime because I thought it was going to be too light. But, man. That's actually a super cool... Yeah, the way it shows there. It's really nice. I'm interested to see what it looks like. It's, like, super limey, right? And, Sandra, I really was going to say something about if you have an itchy nose, someone's thinking about you. But I was like... Really? I thought maybe it was in, like, a, an ear lobe or something. Like, maybe I don't want to say it in case, in case I'm wrong. I thought but, it was yeah. when your ears were burning. Like, when you had hot ears. Who has hot ears? I mean, people who have people That's talking not... about them. Who has hot? I've never heard that. It's like when you get a shudder. It's, a, Ooh, it's I like hate somebody shudders. somebody walked over your grave. That's what people say. Is it? I mean, all of that's nonsense. Well, but that's what people well, say. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, uh, see, it's an odd pink, but you dig it. Cool. Well, Bijou, you remind me, and I'll um, I'll give you a sample if you haven't gotten it by the next time I see you. Yeah. Um, probably hey. just you. If you find the twist being a little too much undersaturated. Yeah, I get it. It's um. Like none of them are super saturated, except for maybe this green, which is also kind of weird. But uh, the orange is actually pretty yeah, it's saturated. It's pretty saturated, yeah. Yeah. For I'm surprised the yeah. orange is as much I mean, as it is. Yeah, people are liking undersaturated inks these days, so maybe that's just a, a thing. But, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, post about, oh, uh, aren't they mixable? Maybe we should mix in the pink with some other inks, see how it looks. Yeah, I don't know. It actually haven't, uh, I haven't seen anything about it being mixable, but I don't know why it wouldn't. Like, most of the time it's pretty safe to mix stuff in the same brand um, right there yep there it is so I'll uh, yeah I'll check that out is it more of a nude or a pastel I'm gonna say it's more of a pastel nobody's that color no nude it's is definitely yeah it's not a that. dustier light pink yeah for sure and then he threw in uh, a bag of uh, other blackstone samples which I haven't even had a chance to swatch yet it's been a it's been a really it's been a really busy semester I feel like I need like yeah I don't know, some time off. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been really busy. So I haven't gotten to swatch those yet. But, yeah, this lemur lime looks like it's going to be dope. Yeah, I'm interested so. to see what it looks like in a pen. Same. Same. Um, same. Same. What else did I get this week? Nothing over there. That stuff is all older mm -hmm. stuff. Um, you have those you haven't shown in your new pen. I got, I got a pen. That was the other thing. I knew there was something else. Uh, I got one of these. This is a uh, Pilot Custom 823. I got this one from Goldspot Pens uh, a little while ago and reviewed that, and uh, this is a great is it pen. The smoke? Yeah, this is the smoke yeah. one. 
which is almost opaque. Like you almost can't I could see, see the ink through it with like, the light behind just, it. Yeah. Right, with the light behind it, sure. Yeah. But the rest of the time it's like sitting in your hand, it's pretty opaque. Yeah. Like you can't really see through like, it. Oh, there. it's a black pen. Yeah. Um but this one is the amber and it is much more uh, uh much Especially more see through. Especially in the cap. Although I gotta say it is like full of ink, so it's kinda hard it's to wild. tell. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah. if you get your hands on an on a custom eight twenty three for a good price I mean, don't pass it up. This one I let sit on Slack for too long, I think. Yeah, I don't have any. You have two. Here you go. No, I'm not taking it. Well, there you go. I'll have to buy my own. Y'all saw. She uh, she turned it down. Uh, but that was up there for a good price uh, from a guy I know, and so uh, I bit. So now I've got it in medium and uh, fine, and it's great. So uh, you have a custom 823 inked up right now, Tony, huh? Nice. It's good stuff. You want a flat ended 823? Who doesn't? Um, I actually, I, usually I don't go for the gold hardware, but I think on both of these, the gold hardware is good. I think with the brown one, it would look weird if it was silver. Yeah, especially that one. The other one... Mm -hmm. The other one could go either I way. I could go with a silver for that one, but yeah. the other one, definitely gold. That's yeah. the time that I go as well, yeah. Yeah, it's more brown than I thought it was going to be, like on the end caps and stuff. Yeah. But I like brown, so I don't have any problem with yeah. that. Claire is thinking about selling her 8... eight wait, eight, oh. 832? Is that a mistype? I don't even know what an 832 is. Anything under 200 is a great price. Yeah, I paid 200 for mine. I figured that was a perfectly fair price. So, um, Scraggles. They retail at like 288 or something. So, brown pins are like, are like the one place the old trim is okay. Yep. Agreed. Got okay, 823 with a Waverly. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. I've got a Waverly on this pen. Yeah. And it. I'm, I'm always a little bit tempted to sell it because. <laughs> Because you don't, yeah. Like, the Waverly is a little bit strange for me. I don't know if it's just the way I write or what, but it's a little bit <laughs> on the weird side. Um, it, it's always, it's very smooth, and I like it, but uh, Tony has a Masayama Broad Stub on his 823. It's pretty dope. Mm. 823 has a Nagahara grind, so you're not sure how to price it. High. Probably pretty high. 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 Yeah. I mean, it depends on what the Nagahara grind is, but yeah. um, some of them can be very high. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, so anyway, that was the that was the other pen I got, and then um, you might remember I got a bunch of uh, black wings from a guy who works at Blackwing, whose name I do not remember at the San Francisco pin show. Claire might remember. I think you met that guy. Might have even brought him over. But a um, twenty three hasn't. Oh yeah. A Concord. Oh, it's a Concord. That's gonna be an expensive Woo! pen then. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, expensive. That's how you should price it. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, Nick. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, he gave me a few, we like talk, we like, you know, jabbed back and forth about pencils and pens and stuff. And so he gave me a few and I said, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, Eric. Well, Claire says it's Eric. She was there. So I don't, I don't know. No, it's Eric being that Eric's price it high. Oh yeah. I think. Anyway, a dude. <laughs> um, and, uh, I was like, oh yeah, I'll just take it to work and put it in the electric pencil, pencil sharpener. And then your friend and mine, Anna Reiner said that she would hunt me and kill me if I did so. Uh, and that she was going to send me some pencil sharpeners. And so I got this box showed up in the mail the other day. Um, it has fun stamps on it, like yep. good mail over here and a well-appointed desk. If you don't know the well-appointed desk, go there. Special um, delivery on the bottom. Coloring. Oh, yeah, special delivery over here. So so she sent me uh, some pencil sharpeners and things. One of them is this one, which is the official Blackwing one. Ooh. Um, and I did a very bad job of sharpening <laughs> this pencil. You really did. And that's mostly because I... This is apparently a two-stage pencil sharpener. I guess you do wood with the first stage and the lead with the other one, or the graphite with the other one. I didn't know that because there's no, like, instructions, and I'm a dummy because I've never done it before. It's got graphite all over my hand. Dope. Uh, so it's a very bad sharpening job, but, uh, like, whatever. It seems okay. <laughs> so there's that one. You messed up about 50 cents worth of that pen. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Um, so there's this one. Does it, wait, does it have instructions? I hope it doesn't. Oh, it does. Shape Hold the wood, on. sharpen the graphite. Yeah, I didn't even notice that it was well, numbered because when you get a bunch of f stuff in there, like I didn't see the numbers on the top. Um, so anyway, I screwed that up and it's kind of my two-stage sharpeners suck. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, well, look, I'm not going to say bad on it because it was literally on the box. Yeah. Like that's, that's bad mic. That that's bad yeah. mic. Um, and then this other one, uh, this is a Coom long, long point sharpener, which I probably should just use this one. This is like a one stage, I guess. It's a nice little guy. Yeah, it looks nice. And then uh, well-appointed desk sticker. I will throw that in with the uh, giveaways. 
Uh, and then this one, which is a uh, special diameter, 8 and 10 millimeter sharpeners, which is kind of cute. I don't know what these, that only uses a 10 millimeter. Can I open this? There we go. I don't know. I don't know what that's for. I'll have to ask her. <laughs> I don't know pencil stuff. And then this little bag of awesome like pencil point protectors, which is fun. And a little eraser. So I am, uh, I am all set. Oh, and this guy, oh, which is, yeah. <laughs> this is extremely graphic, which I think is funny. Uh, but you pull this out and do that. You put a little golf pencil action there. So that's fun. So that's cute. Yeah, it is cute. Has a little eraser on there. Probably functional. Uh, and also some like, other stickers. I'll put those in with the giveaways. Yeah. The giveaways grow in. So she just sent me this one, this little note saying, "Hey, I didn't forget." So that's fun. She didn't forget. She didn't forget. That's true. Um, I just don't know how to use a pencil sharpener. So that's on Mike. Mm -hmm. That's me. The Pollock says uh, sumo grip eraser. Oh yeah. I don't. Is that a thing that's known? Like, is that a? I, don't I haven't. I, I got that last night, and so I haven't really had a chance to play with it. But yeah. yeah anyway. Reading instructions is overrated. You just use a knife. Uh, so, I, uh, look, if my life was threatened over an electric pencil sharpener, I'm not going to just apply a knife to it. I don't know what she would do to me, but um, I don't want to <laughs> do that. You hate that black wing sharpener? Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, oh, you don't like this plus is a two-stage, huh? Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll try it on my other ones. I've got three of these black wings, so I'll not yeah. screw one of them up. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Look, one out of three, and you know, it's not screwed up forever. I guess I could just saw it off and then start over. But that'd be about 35 cents worth of pencil right there. So yeah. that was that. Um, all right, so grippier than the regular foam? Interesting. Sakura foam erasers are great. The Sumo Grip line is one of those. Huh, foam erasers, eh? So here's the other thing, and um, I've only got like 10 minutes because I do have to like, we like set up a table and stuff and sit out in the driveway so the kids don't ring the doorbell and freak Scrags out all night. Uh, so I got a bounce for that. But while I was talking to folks after ethics bowl judging, uh, I found out that one of my colleagues uh, wants to get into pens. And uh, he's like, well, you know, I just don't, I want to get a nice pen because he's got this new job. He's like, but I don't know what to get. So I'm like, well, you know a guy. Um, and so he gave me his price range. It was like one to 200 bucks. And um, so I was like, well, I'll just bring in some examples of stuff. And so I brought in these. Oh, these are new too. I didn't have these yeah, either last week. Last week yeah. um, these are the new Franklin Christoph pen cases. This is the six and this is the, uh, the three. Um, you a wanna... Oh yeah, there's a 12 too. You want to grab one of the pen envelopes, the standard ones over on the shelf over there? Yeah. We can compare sizes. Because um, this is actually a lot smaller. I know some people don't like the uh, regular pen envelope because it's kind of big. So this is the regular pen envelope in that like... Oh, this is, this is nice. Is that, the, is that boot leather? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah boot that's good leather. stuff. Yeah. So, this is the new one compared to the uh, the regular standard pinvelope. It's kind of hard to hold because it's curved, but it's quite a lot smaller and more efficient. So, pretty pretty good. Um, anyway, yeah, pin enabling opportunity indeed. Yeah. So, uh, I put together a couple of these, and I never caught him this week. Like we were just not in the same place at the same time. So, um, I'm gonna show y'all what I brought for that. Um, for, like the smaller size, I do too. Um, and this is a, um, some kind of like, what is, what is it called? Like plant fiber or wood fiber? Yeah. Wood yeah. fiber material of some kind. It smells a little bit like leather though, doesn't it? I don't know. It just has a particular, I mean, it's, this doesn't smell bad. It just smells. This doesn't smell like anything. Yeah. I think it smells good actually. Yeah. And then it comes with these, like these little guys which, that come out. So you can put whatever you want on there, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, these also fit in the pockets of the, uh, uh, like the Franklin Christoph backpack and stuff like vagabond. that. So, yeah, the Vagabond. Oh, yeah, the Vagabond. Yeah. yeah. So, us, yep. so um, he said his price range was like one to 200 bucks. Load him up with some cheap pens first. I think he wants to go with something a little bit higher end um, as his first one. So, Which is interesting. I mean, yeah. people don't. Mm -hmm. Well, he's starting. He has a job. He's not, you know, a student or something. So I yeah, guess that's why he he's can. A, he's a tenure track professor. Yeah. So he's he'll do okay. How does it smell good? I don't know. I think it just does. I think it just smells nice. Yeah. I don't know. The material just smells good to me. Um, but uh, so he's thinking like one to 200. I've got some stuff in here that's cheaper than that, but I just want to like show him the 100 to 200 yeah. stuff too. So uh, first up, I have a Platinum 3776. Uh, this is a, which one is this? I actually forget. It's that's one of the mountain ones yeah. or 
Oh, that's right. It's an Oshino. It's the, yeah, good. This is the Oshino. Um, but this will give them an idea of what this feels like. Um, and then I've got a uh, Franklin Christoph Model 46. It has a, like a, hey, here's a, you know, smaller maker sort of thing. Uh, then I've got uh, this Memento Zero, which is just under the uh, the two hundred dollars, right around the two hundred dollar limit. Uh, you give them an Eco and a Pilot seventy four; those are good ideas. Um, so, like, here's the Pilot Custom seventy four I was mm -hmm. going to show them, and uh, here's the Eco I was going to show them, and uh, then I've got a uh, Faber Castell Loom. Loom yep. It's about forty five bucks, so you know forty bucks ish. I've is got there a grip. What grip? Is it... I don't have the grip. But no, it is okay. I was, yeah. I was. Yeah, the grip is like, a new. Wait, yeah. we don't. I don't have one. What is that? Yeah, the grip is a newer one. I haven't gotten oh, one yet. Okay. Um, I've got a diplomat arrow because, of course, I do. Of course. Uh huh. Have to. Uh, and I've got a Lamy two thousand, which is also under his uh, his limit, depending on sales it's, and that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, and then uh, this is a um, Carolina Pinco pen. It's like a bigger, chunkier, more acrylic sort of thing. So those are the ones that I picked out just to like. Hey, here's a let's see where you fit, yeah, um, and see like what kind of kind of stuff you're into, and then maybe I can help him hone it down to what he's really into. But he's not afraid to spend a little bit of money on a pen, which I think is good. I mean, he just finished building the uh, like Lego Collector's Edition Star Wars uh, Millennium Falcon that's like mm -hmm. this big. Yeah. So like, if he's gonna drop eight hundred bucks on a Lego, he'll be all right dropping a couple hundred bucks on a yeah, pen. Yeah, the two hundred five. <laughs> I don't. The only problem with the two hundred five is um, the Pelican. Yeah, hmm. it's too oh, it's smaller, and that's what yeah. you don't like. So depending on what yeah. he also, I don't have one. Is another reason I didn't. Put I it have in the thing. one. Yeah, I know, but I didn't put it in mine because I was just oh. looking at pins I had. I so. do have that, so that's an option. Yeah, yeah. I like the two hundred five. Yeah, I think that might be that's a possibility. Um, I remember spending one hundred thirty on a Pelican Cafe Crema and thinking it would be the most you'd ever spend on a pen. Well, yeah, <laughs> you got over that, Dapper Man. You oh, got yeah. over you got I, over that I, hard. Yeah. But uh, that would be another one, actually, yeah. I don't want to swap 3776 nibs. Looking to change your SF for anything other than that, basically. Um, you yeah. have an SF you like, huh? I do. Um, or do I have an SF or do I have an MF? You have a soft medium. That's a soft medium. Yeah, it's an SM. She's got an SF she's talking about. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, Becky, talk to me later. I've got... Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Um... That man just got a red dragon. Oh, nice. Very cool. What about Sailor 1911? Oh, Sailor 1911 is a good call. Um, cool. I'll put that in the pile. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. What else What else should I show him? Your wife won't let you drop $800 on the Falcon? Well, this was... Um, he said this was something that he told his wife he was going to do, like, a while ago. He's like, she, she knew it was, was going to happen. Well, she knew he was talking about doing it, and then she was like, yeah, okay. And uh, then he got the job, and he's like, "No, I'm really doing it." And I, she'd already, she'd so, already said it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, vanishing point. Mm. Yeah, the vanishing point actually was in my pocket, and that's why I, I forgot yeah. about it. But yep, definitely a vanishing point. It's a great pen. Just it's one that you need to hold to see if you like it. You have an epsilon. An Aurora mm. epsilon. Yes, I do have one of those. The one I got you for Christmas. Um, you got it for me for my birthday one year, I think. Was it birthday? Come hmm. on, just get up here. Scaggles, come on. What are you doing, you little goose? Come she doesn't here. want to be picked up, but she doesn't want to jump up here either. Come on. Here. Come on, jump up. Come on. You can do it. There, there we go. There she is. You goose. Finally, that's what she's wanted. Here is a wild Scraggles. We finally got her up here. Yeah. So, there she is. Hey, you want to be on Audrey's lap? You want to keep being on my lap? Are you not sure what you want? Oh, thank you. You wanted to give me a smooch? I appreciate it. You're a good girl. Just a good girl. Keep telling her you're going to buy it. She keeps giving you that look. Oh. I know that look. You, wh wh what? <laughs> no. I'm going to buy an $800 Lego set, Audrey. Mm. <laughs> uh, did I miss it or not include an FC pen like the O2? I actually only had the 46 in there, but yeah. See, the thing is, I, didn't, I only was carrying these two. Yeah. Really, I ought to just bring my 40 pin case and just be like, here are. I, so I kind of yeah. don't want to overwhelm him to begin with, Jesse. So I was giving him like, you know, here's Major like, here's like nine things. Group, different you, pens, yeah. Yeah. So when he sees what he like, see like where he's kind of leaning, then I can bring in more stuff like that. So, yeah, I brought one or two FCs, but that was it. Yeah. 
Her little eyeball is just like peeking over the top. I know. <laughs> and her eyebrows are turning white. Yeah, she's getting old. <laughs> she's good. How about a pelican? Um, yeah, the pelican, the 205 pro is, is in his range. The rest of them are kind of out of that range yeah, though, right? So, uh, which Carolina model pin? Um, the only model that I actually... Charleston. Ha- yeah, the Charleston is the only one that I've actually got. We have several of these, but... Um, yeah, the other one I had, I got rid of. I, well, I sold it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to get into pens, eh? Yeah, so he's like, yeah. I, he told me what his price range was. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of choices there. He's like, there's too many. I don't know what to get. I'm like, well, you know a guy now. So, um, Visconti Van Gogh. I had a I Van had Gogh. a. I yeah, had Yeah, you a, had a Van Gogh. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't have one of those to show him, but. Um, and then I have another one, another student. Well, he's a former student. He graduated. He's like getting out of grad school now. Uh, and he said that his advisor in grad school is a pen guy and like gave him a, uh, got him interested in fountain pens and then gave him a Pelican, but he wouldn't tell him what kind it was cause he didn't want to look it up and know how much, he, how much it was worth. <laughs> and, uh, from talking to him, I think he probably gave him an 800. Mm. Might've been a 600, but I think it was probably an eight. And so, um, he, uh, uh, <laughs> he said he accidentally put it in the washing machine and it got messed up. And I'm like, dude, um, we can it can be fixed. So uh, I told him to like get a hold of me, and we he can give it to me. And we'll so see what we can do. Take that into consideration. I don't know. Well, Who? look, it's it, sometimes things happen. You know, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Uh, he's not gonna do it again. It only takes once. It, <laughs> it only takes once. I don't know. It just hurts. Uh, isn't there a Pelican 110 SE? Isn't that the like sort of brown and white one that you were talking about getting the 110? That I thought was. A- 200 yeah i'm well. not sure i'm not sure about the 110 is the 110 like the domey top one uh, let's see i don't remember uh, phyllis says definitely something that writes the first time every time and not too wet or dry yeah that's yeah that's, it's a painful lesson yeah yeah um so yeah i mean that's why i'm giving him all kinds of options i mean whatever he gets can be adjusted or something i mean i, I know somebody who might help out um, but I don't know. <laughs> you put your wa- that in the washing machine? No, no, I'm we're talking kidding. about for oh. for Derek. Oh. Um, can't get myself to pull the trigger on the Nakaya you want? Well, Brian. <laughs> um, yeah, washing machine at 800, God. Anything <laughs> over, uh, even three, you're just like, ooh, I don't know. I'm very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like, he has lots of them, but he has that limit where he's just like, nope, not even going to consider. That's not a thing that I would get. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it goes. You have a pin story that involves a ruined nib. Claire, save that for next week. We'll talk about fountain pin horror it stories is. next week. It is. 6 o'clock. So it's 6 o'clock, so well, I, we got to... 5.59. Yours is just fast. Okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Remember, uh, doing a giveaway for... This fancy uh, Kaveco special pen in brass. It's special. Or pretty sure it's brass. It's, um, like brass, it's yeah. either brass or bronze, but I'm pretty sure it's brass. Um, and this very nice paper blanks book that is unused and new. It has a fun clasp and side illustrations or illumination or what do you call that when you paint the, the spine or the, um, the pages? I don't know either. Scraggles, do you know? No? Okay. She's not telling. Um, so... Um, Put a comment below. Just one comment per person will count. Um, if you know what this is called, put that in the comment. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be your comment. Um, but, uh, oh, okay, Claire, you don't have to tell us in public. That's fine. Um, so, uh, somebody else will have a terrible nightmare pa- nightmare yeah. story. Um, page gilding, says Stephanie. Page, oh, there thank you. Go. you. Uh, and Mike's secrets are locked in there. Nope, no secrets. It's totally blank. Uh, it's, it's paper blank, y'all. Mike is not good about starting any notebook. So bad at it. So I got this one. And I was Most like, I'm like, yeah, this is dope. And like Tony, I built a uh, fort with it. Uh, yep. So it's time for that to pass on to somebody who will actually use it. So uh, in any case, those two things will be uh, RNG'd out to somebody. Uh, you'll have, uh, I'll give you a day or something to hit me back. Uh, with uh, an email and stuff and um, that's it so um, leave a comment below and uh, I will I'll see y'all next week happy fountain pen day happy go out and celebrate pen able somebody yeah just watch Tony win the notebook yeah right <laughs> <laughs> so uh, notebooks know where they belong I guess so we'll see how it goes here's your entry no no not in the not in the uh, in the chat, chat Taylor but in the comments, comments on YouTube YouTube comments 
Um, I can't do it in down. the chat. The chat doesn't work out that way. Yeah. So make sure you put them in the comments. In the comments. Okay, that's it. We got to bounce. Got to set up for Halloween. Bye, y'all. Happy Fun Pundin.